Whoa, hello there guys, this is Chris here at the Rockabilly Customs channel and today I'm in my shop and we're going to be working on the C18 DET for my 92 240SX. So, as right now, I've got my 240 on the ground, I got the uh, fenders for my Impala in here because I got to get my welder set up. I'm mean, getting the bottle so I can actually do patch paneling for this. Then also I need some metal to do patch paneling. Uh, and also I need to fix some body damages too. But we're not on the Polar Day. We're on the 240. Um, I'm having trouble trying to find me a fender. I know that I located one in Arkansas. I just cannot get over to Arkansas to get it. So I'm going to try to fix this one later on. But today... We're going to be working on the C18 DET. Now, let me tell you a little bit about this motor. It's extremely hard to find any son of a bitch in parts for this engine, but it's complete. I built this thing about, I lived in OKC when this thing was built. The box is machined, it's been decked. Um, I've had head work done to it, but it has the stock cams in it, has stock pusher or springs in it and stock cups um, but as far as connecting rods they're stock but it has Wiseco piston spoon pistons in it the stock 83 millimeter um, bore in it and the uh, rings have been gapped for the turbo for blow by but I have king race bearings for main bearings and connecting rods bearings so got those now I did break a main cap so thank God I had a butt somebody in Europe that sent me one over um, awesome but that was about a few years ago um, I have a Gates timing belt on this thing um, I got 800 Detroit injectors on here but I am going to be upgrading my fuel rail because that's the stock fuel rail I want to aftermarket one in here and then I'm going to take the valve covers off I'm going to paint them, I don't know, I might powder coat them black and then I want to get these hydro dipped. So get those hydro dipped, get my timing cover hydro dipped, which timing cover is in my seat right there. Because I'm the reason why I do have this a little bit disassembled is because timing, I don't, I was thinking timing's off because it started cranking real slow. But then again, this engine came out of a 180SX in Japan. And it's a older motor. I cannot. I don't know the exact year for it, but I know it's an older motor because they they stopped making them. So that was the original starter on this thing. So I need to test the starter and see if the starter is actually up to par on it. If it is strong enough to push crank this over. Now I on the wiring though. I got a wiring specialty harness on this thing, and nothing. So that was awesome. It just plugged play awesome to go um, another thing I want to switch out to are my ignition coils I want to get Spitfire ignition coils on here so that's a little bit um, so but today I'm going to go through and actually bolt on my eBay manifold and get this thing tightened down but I also need to my bracket that goes right here for my power steering pump I need to modify that down too and where is that thing i think it's over here actually because i had the engine sent over here yes it's right here so this dude as you see it's pretty lengthy um yeah i'm gonna cut it down probably kind of go half of there and just make a bracket there so it'll still bolt in the back but bolt in the front like normal so that's actually going to hold it down. This I think will just make sure it doesn't do that number. So, all right, I want to use the Harbor Freight cheap cut up wheel, which it works. It works.
Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because with the manifold that I'm putting on, it's a top mount turbo manifold. And that bolt just hit that barely. So cutting it like this will still give it plenty of strength on it. But it will also let me bolt the back down and let that manifold hook on there too. So uh, get up here. And I'm gonna go ahead and bolt this thing on. Okay guys, we're back on Thursday now. And I did a little bit of work to the engine off camera because I really didn't think and I battle memory. But so I found out that yeah my main caps are bolt are torqued down to Pacific foot pounds, that's forty-five. Connecting rods are done. And the head was bolted down, but my uh, cam, uh, cam caps were not done, so they're torqued down to 8.7 foot pounds. And today, I got some stuff from Amazon. So, <clears throat> we'll open that one last. This one. This, this, this. <laughs> my initial D stickers so I figured this one was so I just had a chance to get these actually for free off Amazon and I decided to go with it. It has all the characters from Initial D. They're not vinyl whatsoever. Oh, look at that. The RX-7. So, 
But yeah. They ate six. If y'all guys are into drifting, y'all probably got into it from initial D. I'm just running in the 90s. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to use some of these on the T40, definitely. So let's put those back in the deal until the card's ready. And again, like I said, I just got these all for free. Because I had some points on Amazon. Now let's open this one. <clears throat> okay, so I got my gasket for my T4 Turbo. So, it was $7 off of Amazon. Hopefully that works. And this one is supposed to be my plumbing kit for my Turbo. It's from DNA. I've used DNA quite a bit. Uh, the rear suspension on the T40 is fully adjustable. That was DNA uh, suspension. So I had it on my convertible one. That was my first one I had. Um, and the system came from that car to this one. And it worked pretty good. It was where I could adjust it because beforehand, this system was on my convertible 240 and so the gentleman that had it before me lowered it but did nothing to the suspension so my tires were actually uh towed in i believe no towed out so they were kind of leaning in like at a stance and i wanted them to be aligned and you couldn't do that so i bought the cheapest kit that i got it was dna well not the cheapest but a decent brand priced because i don't have a lot of money especially don't do now so I got that, put it on, got the rear adjusted, and I drove it around in the purple one for quite a while, my first one, and it worked. So let's go ahead and open this. Okay, so this is supposed to be a universal kit. It comes with uh, fittings. This is supposed to be the inlet one. It's metal braided. Here are the fittings for the turbo itself to bolt down on for the um, drain. Here's the actual drain tube. And my only issue, this is going to be the only thing I'm worried about. Let's go over here to my old man. I think if I spray that with PB Blaster, I bet I could get that on. And they'll put a good seal on it, so therefore it won't want to uh, come off easy. So, awesome. This will work. That's my main issue that I have. So I have another fitting for straight on applications. These are at angles. I want to say 45 degree angles. And this is for the smaller one. So I've got a four way set up in there, which I won't use that. I just literally use this straight onto the turbo. Comes with the gasket and then has some fittings to make universal applications. Um, well, first off, I should have took this with me to Lowe's, but it looks like this braided piece doesn't even go into this corner piece right here. So that thread pitch actually looks the same as this one right here that goes straight into the block. So saying that, let's go here to the block. I went and took the AC compressor off. A lot easier access. We'll just see. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put the camera down. Okay. 
Well, that uh, is it. That line replaces that little corner bracket on the side of your C18DT. So yes, I'm so sorry if anybody from DNA is watching this. Uh, but yes, your kit does fit. So now I want to go back and look at this because I did get some plumbing tape along with it. And I think I can see some kind of resemblance of plumber's tape. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap, put a couple of layers of plumber's tape on it, on the thread. And then just go ahead and bolt this thing in and have it in there. And then I'll flip the engine over and we'll install the turbo and get this thing all plumbed up. didn't die before y'all saw me get this one fully on but yeah I got a 14 millimeter bolt back here but the rest are these hex nuts and these are supposed to be that like grade 8 bolts so it's on there it's nice and tight so now let's go ahead and put the exhaust port back into the uh, turbo itself <laughs> another one of these plates fuck okay it's a Monday right before Thanksgiving and I got me some black urethane gasket maker it's oil resistant and I got it because it's showing the it's for like oil pans and stuff like that so that work and my part came the replacement part came in pretty fast came in uh, Saturday when we were up in OKC but it got me a new line and everything's in there now what I did do is I just kept this and uh, go ahead and 
and replaced it with the other one that came in the box. So everything is back in the original box. I went and sent it off back to Amazon. So, but I do got the new gasket, the new hardware and stuff like that. And the one thing I noticed was that looks like it's a little bit bigger than the other one. We'll find out. So, awesome. We'll have this hooked up. I won't tighten this damn thing down as tight again. And we'll have this all hooked up.
this one. It's going down to the oil line. And I'll tell you the truth, it's not going to really bug me too much because it's not. It has a little bit of bend in it, but it's not serious. But I'll come back later on and clean this up. But I just want to make sure everything's good, everything's tight, and also let me flip this motor back around so it can look better than what it was right now. All right. this dude up and over it's gonna go back there those actually going to get disconnected okay guys Got the motor back upright. It's all plumbed. I'm going to work this line down here. Yeah, I'm just going to work this line down um, to where it's not so bulky coming out. Um, this is not fully, the face is not fully timed because once I get in the car, I'm going to have to change it. Probably going down so. I should get a 90 degree elbow coming out and down to the intercooler, but turbo's on, turbo's mounted on, turbo is plumbed, everything's tight, nothing broke except for the piece on the block, which I'll go back and fix out a JB Weld. Um, my cams are down to 8.7 pounds. My main caps are down to 47 pounds. And yeah, everything's good. Uh, my timing's on so we're all good right now so next step is to get these blasted get all this spray paint off of it and then I'm just going to spray them black and then I'm going to take them down wherever and get them hydro dipped then I can put them back on the uh, engine which I'll also have the plate where the uh, um, spark plugs, so I'm going to have that uh, plastic or hydro dip too with something unique that, that's because it's going to be hidden because I'm supposed to have a piece of metal in here covering it but I don't have that so I'm going to make me something and have that also hydro dipped to go along with the valve covers and also my timing cover is going to be hydro dipped too so i got to call somebody and get an appraisal basically an estimate of how much it's going to cost to get it uh, hydro dipped and then I'll go from there but as far as right now this engine is basically done besides bolting back on the compressor and I've got to cover that bolt up where I cover, uh, cut it I've got to paint that also back so what I need to do is go back and get the uh, engine paint that I originally done this in because I've got a couple areas I need to touch up too and it is that glossy metal flake black because uh, it's dusty right now that's why it kind of looks kind of bad on the sides but once I clean it and actually wash it then it'll be fine but the next step I got to do is connect all my oil, uh, water and my airlines got a bunch of uh, hoses that go on this thing so I need to order a hose kit and uh, start going through there and trying to find out what goes to what and where it goes to where so And I'm debating about changing my fuel rail on this thing. I don't know guys you think I should uh, It's gonna running 20 about 15 to 20 pounds of boost um, And they're 800 cc injectors on here, so they're gonna be durated down to like 49 percent somewhere in that ballpark range so but yeah uh, engine is basically almost complete just got a couple more things to do and it can go back in the car once I get it painted and right now I don't have the paint because first I need to fill up my propane bottle 
Then I can work on the engine bay, get it cleaned up, mask it all off, and then I can spray it. I do have the paint. I got uh, glossy black and I got glossy clear. So uh, just sand it down a little bit, start spraying which I also need to fix up my core support too. So that's all gonna be in the next episode of working on this 240. So guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this little bit of a twist from the Impala build over to the Impala build. I just said that twice. Okay, let me rephrase it. Guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, it bounced from the Impala build over to the 240 build. And the reason saying that is I'm kind of running low on what I can do to that Impala. Um, it's basically torn down. I just need to make some money to buy the parts for that car. And that's it. The buy parts for the car. So I'll be showcasing in the next video my Christmas shirt that's going on sale. And if y'all want a Christmas shirt, just message me your size over on Instagram. I'll show you, I'll send you my cash app, um, barcode or whatever. You can pay me there. I'll make the shirt. I will show you, send you the picture of your shirt once it's done to say, hey, it's done. It's going in the mail that next day. And I'll have it sent to you, straight to you as fast as I can. So guys, Hope you have a happy Thanksgiving. Get out there. Enjoy time with your family. Eat as much food as you can. And then go on a diet right after hand. <laughs> so, alright guys. I'm going to get out here. And I'll see you on the next one. Later.